YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an Amazon fitness haul checklist stuff that's fitnessy that you can get on Amazon.com. Now I promise this is not a sponsored video, Amazon didn't ask me to do this. I was actually putting together a video of all of my fitness must have and I realized that literally almost every single thing was from Amazon or could be purchased on Amazon. So now this is an Amazon video. I have it split into three different sections. Today I want to do nutrition tools, stuff that I have that helps me with my nutrition and staying on track, some workout tools, actual workout equipment and stuff that's really cheap but I can keep in the house, and the last thing is going to be supplements. So without further ado, let's hop right in. Okay, so the first thing on my list is this body analyzer scale, which I turned on accidentally somehow. Shh, go to sleep. It is a glass scale, so it's hard. I keep getting a reflection. Hey! But this is the scale that I've used for the last two years, maybe a little bit longer than that. This is the body analyzer scale that you see a lot of YouTubers talk about from, I think it's Vanity Planet. But in full disclosure, I worked with Vanity Planet a couple years ago and like was just not impressed with them. So no, I don't have a discount code, but you can buy this on Amazon. The reason that I like this scale, first of all, is that it allows you to enter your age, your height, stuff like that. And so that when you step on the scale, when you weigh yourself, not only does it give you your weight, but it gives you your body fat percentage, your bone density, your water mass. It gives a lot of information that's just really helpful to have when you're tracking your progress over time. A lot of times we may be progressing and working hard in the gym and eating right and we can feel ourselves getting stronger. We know we look different and yet the scale just refuses to budge. But with something like this, it's going to let you know that your body fat percentage is changing, if it is, whether or not your weight is changing. So I always like having a scale that also gives body fat percentage. The way that it actually gets your body fat percentage is these little platforms right here. When you're standing on them, it sends like a little current through your body and it actually calculates your body fat percentage based on that. It's not the most accurate way of tracking your body fat percentage, but there's really no extremely accurate way of checking your body fat percentage in your house. As long as you're using the same method consistently, it's still going to give you a lot of good, valuable information. So I love this scale. I highly, highly recommend it if you're looking for a good, solid scale that you can rely on and give you a lot of quality information that could be really helpful in your fitness journey. The next thing I have is this food scale right here. Now, if you're not a person who tracks your macros, or weighs your food, then this is going to be a really weird item, but I know that macro tracking and weighing your food is a big trend in the fitness community right now, so I'm sure a lot of you do do this or have done this or are looking to start doing this, so this, I think, is literally the only food scale I've ever had. So I guess I can't really compare it to other food scales, but it seems extremely accurate. I must have gotten this in like late 2013, early 2014, and it's not died. It's still kicking. It's a brand called OXO. Not even going to try to pronounce that. I generally don't have a huge opinion on scales. The only reason I like this one is because it's worked so well for me. It's accurate. I can at least confidently say that if you get this one, you're going to have a good scale to work with. But in general, having a food scale is just a great tool to have if you're trying to lose weight so that you know your portion sizes are accurate. If you're looking to get really exact with your nutrition, this is going to be a super helpful tool for you. The next tool that I kind of have is my 40 ounce water bottle. This is a Pogo water bottle, although I've had different brands of like a 40 ounce water bottle. I'm not particular to a brand just the size. As an online personal trainer, one of the hardest things for my clients seems to be getting in enough water. I feel your pain. A long time ago, I had a struggle with getting in enough water, and the only way that I was able to resolve that was by getting a gigantic water bottle. I typically aim to drink about a gallon of water a day. It's not totally necessary that you drink quite that much, but you definitely want to get a lot of water into your system. And with this being 40 ounces, three of these is a gallon. That means after I first initially fill it up, I only have to fill it up two more times in order to get in a gallon. I think one reason why people struggle with water intake is because they'll have just like a normal throwaway plastic water bottle which is like 16.9 ounces. They'll drink one of those and then just sit around for a while before getting another water bottle or just forget to go drink more water and so they'll only have three or four of those plastic water bottles in a day but that's not even like 70 or 80 ounces of water. I've just gotten in the habit of keeping this by me at all times and like between every email, I just take a sip. If I get up from the couch to go do something, I take a sip. And since I only have to refill this twice, generally it's not hard to get my water in because I'm not constantly going back and forth to the sink. I can carry this around and at least get 40 ounces of water in until I have to refill this again. I cannot recommend enough a gigantic water bottle like this. I love this water bottle. Next, I'm going to move on to workout gear, workout items, stuff like that. One thing that I love that I've talked about a million times and I've shown it in my videos and I talk about it on Instagram 
Instagram all the time is my spin bike. I think it's called the Sunny Health and Fitness Bike. The model is B1203, I believe. A couple of years ago when I was still a bikini competitor, I wanted a way of being able to do fasted cardio from my house really easily. I live in Michigan, so I can't always go for a run because like 11 months out of the year, it's too freaking cold. So two years ago, I picked up this spin bike and I'm so glad that I did. It's not the most sturdy bike in the whole world. It's not like the highest quality, but man, does it get the job done. And it's small, compact. I can move it around if I want to do cardio in front of the TV or if I want to do it in the second bedroom. It's just so nice to have a cardio piece that is really cheap in my house so that I can knock out some cardio at home instead of having to go to the gym every single time that I want to work out. Yeah, overall, it's just a great bike. I cannot recommend it enough. I recommend it to all of my clients who work out from home and yet don't have the money for something like a treadmill or an elliptical. Those can be upwards of $500. This little bike, like I said, I've had it for two years and it's not crapped out on me or anything yet. I mean, it's a pretty great investment, so highly recommend it. Next on my list are resistance bands. Just a big old giant mess of them because I can't be bothered to untangle them right now. Okay, I'll untangle one. These are Dynapro resistance bands. These are the only ones that I've ever had, but I love them. I've had these also for about a year and a half, I think, and they're just really, really great quality. I used to think that resistance bands was like the workout for sissies of people who don't actually lift weights. Such a bad judgment, very wrong. Resistance bands can provide an amazing workout. It's very similar to cable work at the gym. It's just so much time under tension and you can really do so much with resistance bands. You can do shoulder presses, chest presses, different types of flies and back workouts, rows, kickbacks. There's the, the possibilities are endless. I love having this resistance band set. First of all, if I want to travel with some workout equipment in case I'm going somewhere that doesn't have a great gym, which is like 90% of hotels out there. And it also packs up in my luggage really easily, but mainly it's just awesome for if I want to work out and I don't want to drag out a bunch of equipment. I don't want to carry around dumbbells or barbells or anything like that. I just want a quick, intense workout that I'm going to really be able to burn out with, especially for upper body. These are great. If you're looking to start getting a home gym or at least just ways to work out at home that doesn't cost you a lot, resistance bands are the way to go. You can do so much with them, get such a great workout, and they don't take up any space. If you don't have any resistance bands yet, you should definitely get some. Now this little handy dandy thing here is a resistance band anchor. This goes in the door and here's this little loop and you can put your resistance band through it. I'll show you like so. So this stays anchored in the door and now you have a resistance band system where you can loop one of your feet through here and do kickbacks, you can do rows, you can do flies. I love doing cable pull throughs or I guess resistance band pull throughs with this and it burns so good. And you can really mimic it a lot like you would a cable system at a gym. Obviously it's not gonna carry the same weight as the cable systems at the gym can, but I'm telling you, like, I always underestimate how strong these things are and how much of a burn you can get in a workout with resistance bands. And this just gives you so many more options of exercises just because it gives you some place to kind of put this so that you can just go to town. Am I explaining this well? Probably not. I think you get what I'm saying though. I also have resistance bands like this, the loop resistance bands. These you can put around your legs and do side steps with them. You can do squats and just add a little bit of tension to those squats. You can do kickbacks with these. It's just a loop, which the other resistance bands obviously don't. Those have handles and they're just like a long cord. But this just provides another added benefit, another way to mix up your workouts. And these really help you activate your glutes. So I like these too, having these and the normal handle bar resistance bands. A similar thing to the loop resistance bands is this thing right here. This is a super, ugh, I can't even stretch it out, ugh, a super tight hip circle that works similarly to a resistance band, but it's very, very strong. This wrapped around your legs pushes tension all the way up to your glutes, helps you really, really focus on your glutes when you're doing things like squats and deadlifts. Like it just, it gives your knees something to press off of when it's around your knees, which therefore pushes tension up through your glutes. So basically this is just like the glute master. This version here is the Mark Bell Slingshot. I don't know if they sell this particular one on Amazon, but they sell a lot of them now at this point, and I'm gonna link a couple of them down below for you to check out. I don't use this every time I have a leg workout, but if I'm having a time where I'm like, I really wanna burn up my glutes, I will use this because it's amazing. Another thing that I love, which is for the gym, this is not necessarily something you can use at home, is a cable kickback attachment. Most 
of you probably know what cable kickbacks are, and if your gym is anything like my gym, the cable kickback attachment is always missing or taken. And so I'm just waiting around, waiting for some girl to stop doing her 37,000 kickbacks so that I can do my 37,000 kickbacks. I can't, I'm done. I'm done. And every time I was waiting in line at the gym for all the girls to be done with their kickbacks so I could do my kickbacks, I would always tell myself, Lynette, order your own kickback attachment. So I did, and it was a good idea. You can do side leg lifts with this. I actually use this to do cable pull throughs as well. It's not like the most ideal thing, but I'll often superset cable kickbacks with cable pull throughs and I'll just hold onto this like this and do my pull throughs that way. But it's just so nice having my own attachment for cable kickback so that I'm never without one. And I'm kind of like a germaphobe, um, not kind of, very. This part, this little furry part at the gym on their cable attachment is like brown and gray and full of disgusting germs. Not about that life, that's disgusting. So now I have my own and I only have to share it with myself and have my germs on here. Germaphobes in the building say, what, what? You feel me? Get your own cable kickback attachment. Another thing that I have loved is having my own barbell and dumbbell weight set. Now this is a little bit pricier of an investment than like resistance bands or anything like that, but holy moly, I'm so glad that I bought this set because having a dumbbell and weight set at home that goes up to 110 pounds has been a lifesaver. So let me explain it first. So you get a bar, which I'll show you, and then you get these two dumbbells set, and everything's interchangeable. So they all have these little things you can unscrew or screw back on. It comes with 110 pounds worth of plates. So this can be either like five pounds or you can make it as heavy as like however many plates you can stack on here. Same with the barbell, you can stack up to 110 pounds of plates on there, which I know isn't heavy much. Really, dude? Can you not? So I know 110 pounds isn't heavy enough for everybody, but it's heavy enough for my purposes. It's probably heavy enough for the average woman who's just trying to get a good workout in. So I love having this set for at home so that I can do like a really good, solid, heavy lift without having to go to the gym. And it's just so convenient. So whether you're trying to build up your gym set at home or you're just looking to have a set of weights at home so that you don't have to go to the gym, this is such an awesome set. Everything just seems really high quality. The weights are high quality. Nothing's broken or busted at all, even with lots of use. So yes, highly recommend. This is not like workout equipment, but it's like, it's a fitness favorite. I mean, we're in the right video. But this is a Polar FT7 watch. Can we focus? Hey. If you're not familiar with Polar watches, they are exercise tracking watches. They track your heart rate during your workouts, the calories burned during your workouts. And some of them do like a lot more, but they're more expensive. I like this because you can always get it for about 50 or 60 bucks on Amazon. It comes with a heart rate strap that you wear around your chest. This is how the watch picks up your heart rate. And at the end of every workout, it tells you how many calories you burned, which for me is just helpful because I like knowing where my intensity is at. I like to know if I'm keeping up my intensity. This watch kind of helps keep me accountable to make sure I'm not not being lazy in the gym I'm not giving minimal effort like I can look at my watch and look at my heart rate throughout the workout and know whether or not I'm giving my best or if I could push a little bit harder it's also nice to know if you're starting to see yourself slow down in weight loss sometimes you can look back at your workouts and be like oh I've been burning less calories in the gym for the last couple of weeks like maybe that's why weight loss has stalled and it just gives you one more component of your fitness journey that you can kind of control a little bit and change a little bit to suit your needs. I know some people get kind of obsessive about this stuff though. If you're a person who tends to get obsessive about numbers, you're like, okay, I can't leave the gym until I burn 500 calories. Maybe don't get the watch at this point in time, but if you're just looking for an added sense of accountability, something that'll help you be a little bit more motivated to work hard, I highly recommend getting a watch like this. And by the way, it's super user-friendly. I hate technology. I hate every technology that's ever existed and I hate learning new stuff, but this is really easy to figure out. <laughs> If I can figure it out, literally like your 10 month old baby can figure it out. Okay, so now on to supplements. I am not a huge, huge, huge supplement person. I don't take a ton of stuff. I'm gonna show you guys the four things that I kind of take on a regular basis that make me feel really good and support fat loss, support a healthy body, support muscle growth, etc. First things first, my protein powder. Now this is actually technically a GNC protein powder, so you can get this at GNC, but Amazon Prime does two day free shipping. I have tried every protein powder in existence close to it, I believe. Don't even get me started on vegan protein powders. <gasps> no matter how many protein powders I try, I always come back to this guy. I like this because it has a super thin consistency. I don't want my protein powder to be like a milkshake. The taste is like chocolate milk. It really is like chocolate milk, which I appreciate. Like, 
I don't want it to taste like protein. I know it is protein. I don't want it to taste like protein. This also has a lot of good stuff in it, a lot of amino acids, L-carnitine, glutamine, a bunch of stuff that's really good for you, for your gut, etc. And one scoop of it is only 90 calories, 0.5 grams of fat, 2 grams of carbs, and 20 grams of protein. So I'll usually have like one to two scoops after a workout just to get some fast protein right into my body. It's so important to have protein right after a workout, especially a fast digesting protein, which a whey protein will be. So this is nice. I can just quickly put this into a protein shaker, bring it to the gym with me, and literally have it right after my workout. So if you've not tried a protein powder yet, I really do like this one, and it doesn't make me gag when I drink it, which is pretty much all I care about at this point for a protein powder. Next, I have a few supplements. I just talked about this in my December favorites, but I had to mention it again. My Culturel Daily Digestive Probiotic. I started taking a probiotic about two years ago when I was having some gut issues after taking an antibiotic, and it radically changed my gut. I've always had gut issues to some degree, literally almost my entire life, and taking a probiotic probiotic on a daily basis has been game changing to my gut health. In the past I've dealt with bloating, with gas, with cramping, ugh. This really, really takes the edge off of that and if I'm consistent with this, I like don't have those problems. So I'm not saying you should do a probiotic, but I am saying you should look into it, especially if you have gut issues and consult your doctor. I mean, come on you guys, I'm not a doctor. I didn't even finish college. Don't take everything I say as like the gospel truth. Do your research, talk to your doctor, but I would highly recommend researching probiotics and seeing if that might be something that would be great for you. The last two things I have are gummy vitamins because I'm a five-year-old. Here I have a multivitamin that's for females. It has omega-3s in it and DHA. Those were important to me because I didn't want to also have to take a fish oil. These are really, really, really good. I've had gummy vitamins that I'm like, this tastes like a supplement. This does not. This tastes like candy to me. And this over here is fiber. It's literally fiber gummies. For two of these is four grams of fiber, which is nice because sometimes the food that I eat in a day doesn't have enough fiber to keep me regular and keep me feeling good. So it's nice that I can have like four grams of fiber or eight grams of fiber added to my daily diet just by taking a few of these gummies. So if you're somebody who struggles to get your fiber intake in, this can be super duper helpful. And if you don't know what fiber is or like why you need it in your diet, <sighs> Fiber is the good stuff, y'all. Fiber helps you poop. If you ain't regular, you might need more fiber. And this is more exciting than Metamucil. Okay, that is gonna wrap up this video. I hope that this was helpful for you and shared some good ideas of maybe some stuff that you should invest in, either for your home gym or for your health, stuff that can help you stay on track with your fitness goals this year. As always, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you liked me, then subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.